This is Times Now, Super Prime Time. And you're watching the News Hour Direct with Arnab Goswami. Uh, the lonely rebel of the BJP, Jaswan Singh, is joining us now. He's filing his uh, nomination papers as an independent. Jaswan Singh, good evening. Thank you very much for joining us. Were you pulling rank, Mr. Jaswan Singh, when you wanted uh, the seat from Barmer? After all, you have never contested from Barmer. There is no proven record of your having, uh, you know, being a winnable candidate from Barmer. The person who... Uh, yes, were you pulling rank, you think, Mr. Jaswan Singh? Uh, pulling rank, you apply what? Uh, as in, you've never contested from Barmer. The person who the BJP has no, put up I... from there has won the seat twice in 1998 and 1999. He has a history of winnability and you don't, Mr. Singh. Well, I'm glad you treat me as a candidate who doesn't have a history of winnability. The same Mr. Winnable, whom you cite, lost this very seat to Manvendra Singh, who happens to be my son, and he lost by a margin of two lakhs mm -hmm. and uh, plus almost 70,000. But Mr. I belong to this country. No, no, but, but it's, it's, I'm talking yeah. about you, Mr. Could Singh. You, you, you personally I am, I don't I, have a history I, of winnability from would Barmer. Would you let me finish? Would you let me finish? Would you let me finish? Perhaps I do have a little more knowledge of Barmer than you do. But if you keep interrupting, then it's no good uh, having an interview. You specialize in intervention. Uh, Mr. Jaswan Singh, it's a democracy. It's my responsibility to ask you the questions. Otherwise, this would not be a conversation. I'm sure you don't want a one-way we conversation. Asking. No, I don't want a one-way conversation with you either. If you want my answers, I will answer them as well as I can in the fashion that I can. So not please in do. the fashion that you want. No, it's, it's better if you understand. If you ask me a question, I will answer as I want, not as you want. So, Mr. Jaswan Singh, I'll ask you the question as I want, and after that you can answer the question as you want. My question to you is, Indeed. here is a person who has won a seat twice in the past there, so therefore, it, it, they, in anyone's opinion, he would have some index of winnability. You have never contested from Barmer. One minute, let me complete, please, Mr. Jaswan Singh. You have not, okay. you have not contested from Barmer. So the question to you, which I want you to answer in the way that you want, is should your seniority mm -hmm. within the BJP trump winnability and experience in the constituency? Yes, it is no good you're trying to be sarcastic by repeating what I have said, but I will answer it. I am born here. My mother is from Jaisalmer. I have known this constituency since childhood. My son has won from here with my support until lately uh, this very Mr. Winnable contested an election as an, in the state assembly and he lost to a BJP candidate. Now I don't know how the party has suddenly factored in onto the, fa uh, onto the question of winnability. But the party I has always done that. From I have, in fact, I have won from Jodhpur, from Chittor. I have won. Thereafter, was sent to Darjeeling because they wanted a seat, and the Gorkhas wanted me, and I got that seat, the only seat for the BJP. So I don't know what the thesis is well, that I am not winnable from, and the elections will prove it. Well, who is winnable? Mr. Jaswan Singh, with respect. I don't uh, think winning from Darjeeling is an index to winning from Barmer. In any case, you may think so. Okay. I might, you might not like it, but I think the question of my winning from Barmer of winnability yes. will be decided by the elections. Why do you theorize? One of the, one of the reasons which you, which you certainly object to is the fact that here is somebody from the Congress party who has been picked mm -hmm. up and brought for so-called charge, you know, reasons of winnability into the BJP and you treat that therefore as an act of betrayal. My question to you, Mr. Jaswan Singh, is very simple. Did you, as a senior BJP leader, object to the induction into the BJP of Congress MP Vithal Bhai Radadia, who was accused of brandishing guns at a toll plaza? He was brought into the BJP because of his winnability. 
Did you object to the no. BJP inducting Babu Singh Kushwaha from the BSP in January 2012, despite the accusations against him in the NRHM scam? You were in the top brass yeah. of the BJP when the party was re repeatedly importing people from other parties with very dubious records. You didn't speak then, Mr. Jaswan Singh. You're speaking now. No, I'm, I understand I understand the point you're trying to make through your lecture of several minutes. But these gentlemen were introduced into the party or inducted when I was no longer in the Central Election Committee. All these were done, selected, and became members of the party to contest you upon the decisions of the party and party state concerned and the central but election. But on an Committee. issue of principle, as a senior BJP leader, can you tell me one instance, Mr. Jaswan Singh, when you even objected mm -hmm. or spoke about this? that how can people with dubious records with oh, pending indeed. corruption charges oh, be brought into the BJP and even be oh, offered yes, tickets? Indeed. I mean, yes, I have. Um, you, I, I might not have gone public with it because the issue was not made public, but I have indeed voiced discontent and disagreement with such decisions. Now my qu last question to you is on the issue of discipline. Mr. Jaswan Singh, Uma Bharti, when you removed her, and the party removed her, you said, and I quote, in view of her conduct, all the office bearers unanimously recommended that she should not continue as general secretary of the party and be suspended from primary membership. And the party president has recommend, accepted the recommendations. Now, that was because of the manner in which she made certain ac accusations. She did some finger pointing in a party meeting, etc. The last question I have to you is on the issue of discipline. Now, Arun Jaitley writes in a blog, basically, Arun Jaitley writes in a blog and he says that senior leaders should not complain too much. There are opportunities for them at certain times and other times if the party decides otherwise, they should go along with it. So Mr. Jaswan Singh, General, I want you to respond yes, to what yes, Arun Jaitley understood. wrote there. I have understood. I have understood your question. Don't threaten me with it. I'll answer it. Oh, it is impressive that Mr. Jaitley should lord uh, the question of discipline. And the central leadership, but this factor, this decision about uh, selecting a candidate for the Barmaid Jaisalmer constituency was not taken by the Central Election Committee, which is an aspect or a complaint that uh, Sushma Swaraj has voiced. Now, I think Arun should be saying all this to his colleague in the Central Election Committee, uh, Sushma Swaraj. I'm not a member of that committee any longer. Why are you directing that query to me? And besides, I find it difficult to follow the example or advice or preaching by uh, this Mr. Jetley. So why is that? Thank you. Well, thank, thank you, you, Mr. Jaswan Singh. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you very much. That's Jaswan Singh there answering a few questions, getting upset by some others. We'll come back.